Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, I just got my fire going in the shop. And somebody didn't somebody didn't fill up the the fire box before, so the fire went out. Anyway, uh I went to town today and I got a few pieces from my local PV Mart store and home hardware. And this is what I'll be doing today. So, it's that box, this brass piece is what I needed, and this piece right here. It's a uh, half inch female adapter with a threaded end. So, what's in this box? I have a, a diffuser air stone. Now, this is for aerating your pond water or in our case dugout water and that's an air stone for some of you might know what this is and probably most of you don't know what it is for but basically this is uh, just a stone it's it's pretty much the same as a grinder wheel on a, a bench grinder as you can see it's, it's just raw like a yeah like practically identical to a uh, grindstone but it's porous enough that the air will go through so anyway what this does is you put a hose on here and it blows air and you drop this in the water and it goes right to the bottom of your pond and the air comes through the stone in fine fine bubbles and rises to the top and that adds oxygen to your water so now that I got this piece here I can screw it on there then I'm able to screw my adapter on like that then I can put my hose on what I'm using here is just regular uh, garden hose this is a, a good quality garden hose but what you're really supposed to use is uh, plastic aeration hose the hard stuff uh, they it comes in weighted so it doesn't float and uh, I think you got to switch to the other kind but I just I have it but I don't I, I want to save it for my windmill because I also have a windmill aerator so I just use the regular garden hose and hook it up to my pump so I'll show you the pump after I get this all rigged up and Teflon taped and everything okay so I'm at my dugout this is where the water is this dugout was built for a boro pit uh, we had dug it in that corner right to that bank there across and we wanted water for the cattle and stuff like that then the highways came here looking for dirt for the side slope of the highway to build it up so it wasn't so steep so they took all this right around and then they went around there too and they dug it deep it's about a uh, good 20 feet all except for where we dug it it's about 15 but they had a big big hole reach down in here and they had about 20 feet reach so yeah it's pretty deep I remember snowmobiling down here when it was empty and uh, going up the bank with the big snow drifts there and getting stuck it was pretty fun but can't do that no more anyway that was years ago I got my ice auger here and I've got the air stone hooked up to the hose as you can see and I've got my aeration motor running over there uh, I get water from this for the cattle and when you don't have uh, when it's froze like this over the winter when uh, the plants that are in the dugout they uh, like deteriorate they take up oxygen it's all the little weeds and stuff in the bottom and it's just like if you had fish in here you'd have to have it aerated so the fish would have oxygen because the oxygen runs out and then they die so same thing but in this case you need the aeration because the water uh, unoxygenated water 
turns black and has a uh, like a rotten egg smell of it so I noticed it's starting to do that so really this this aeration should have been in here in the fall but I unplugged it and uh, because I lost my air stone and it, it uh, rusted off so I got all brass pieces on there now and yeah so the, I noticed it was just starting to so it's getting low in oxygen I thought it would last till spring because once you get the water open again it, it's uh it's it air, itself aerates from the wind so I'm going to uh, drill two holes and then drop the stone down okay so I drilled the hole and the, the whole the ice here is about it looks to be a little over probably about 26 27 inches I know it's a good foot probably came up to about here on the ice auger half of the ice auger and this is a four I think it's a four foot ice auger so but yeah almost two feet of ice so now as you can see the hole is drilled and the water is not black it just looks like that because it's dark hands are dirty water looks clear but I'm going to stick this air stone in here now and you'll see how the air comes through the stone just enough room see how it comes out of there bubbling and those small little bubbles add uh, the water absorbs the oxygen from those bubbles so I'm gonna drop it and let it go down all the way to the bottom Should be dropping about 15 feet. That's probably how much water is in here. Maybe more. Huh? Still going. There's the bottom. So I'm just going to leave that like that. And it's just get a bubbling. Tomorrow, this this hole will be washed out, and it'll be about as big as where I swept it or uh, shoveled it away. And it's bringing the water right on top of the ice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off here now and pull off my slack here, and that will help the water. It'll clear up the water. It'll be crystal clear better for the cattle to drink and I'll show you where the pump is. it's just a compressor pump is what it is I need to build a little need to build a little shack for it here it's enclosed but I like it to be inside still too this way no grass grows around well, it's froze right now so anyway you can see it down there bubbling. That hole will be as big as the snow is cleared off by tomorrow. So that's how we aerate the water. And uh, that's what we do here in the north. Uh, in this area, a lot of people have dugouts. And they get water for the houses and stuff like that. I get it there too. I use it for washing clothes and, you know, washing stuff like that. And then I have a cistern with... Uh, treated water that you get for your sinks and stuff like that so okay well I'm gonna pull that slack off and call her a day uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching make sure you subscribe for more uh, follow me on Instagram northern farmer AB and snapchat northern farmer one thanks for watching As you can see now, it's washed right out. This is the next morning. So that's how the air bubbles wash out the ice and everything. So that's why you don't walk on uh, ponds with aeration because it's thin ice.